Hi, my name is Mike Horn and I'm a professional explorer. I'm here with Lorenzo and the Outdoor Journal to cross the Simpson Desert. We've got a couple of beasts, the G300 Professional G-Wagon to drive over 500 kilometers over one of the most desolated deserts in the world. It will be a challenging affair, a lot of loose sand, more than 1,200 dunes to cross, no water, no life, only us and nature. So follow us, it's going to be an amazing trip. Where are we going? I know, but I'm not allowed to tell you <laughs> yet. It's a surprise. Why but is it a surprise? Because um, if you know everything in life, then life becomes boring. All right. You've got to go into the unknown. That's so where things happen. So it's the adventure. It's the adventure. All With right. a big A. <laughs> <laughs> Adventure travel means that you're learning something new, you're seeing something new, and you're basically going off the beaten track. So that to me is more adventure travel. It's going places that not a lot of people go to. Ready to disembark? Yes, so ready. <laughs> I was born ready. So here we are, the big red, taking some uh, air out of the tires. This is the most important thing about road driving. The right tire pressure, that you don't get stuck in the sand every five meters. Because a very short trip can become very long <laughs> if you don't do this. So preparation is always the first thing when you go off-road. With an amazing tool, what is that? It's a piece of wood. Nice. <laughs> this is the most ancient tool that nature created. <laughs> and if you know how to use this tool, you can clean your teeth <laughs> and you can deflate the tires. <laughs> you can wipe your ass as well. Well done. Use nature. I'm off with Enzo in my Benzo to the Simpson. Uh, Sim, uh, Sim, <laughs> Just a reminder that you uh, keep sight of the car behind you so that they see where we go, where we turn. Okay, we roger that. We copy this is Mike uh, Radio Test. got to be a criminal in our own life a little bit. It's not the easy moments that you want. It's the difficult moments that you actually want. I don't do it to die, I do it to live. The moment I take a decision, I know I can die, but I'm not afraid of losing. That will to win becomes bigger than that fear to lose. If you have that will to win, then Dying is part of what you do. Holy shit. Holy shit. So I'm driving. Yep, and I'm your co pilot. Oh, God. <laughs> a little bit more tire pressure now. I'll just really? see if we can come back with So you start with a nice steady run up. The speed that you hit the hill is important. Go, 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 yes, yes, yes. That's it, steady. Okay. Yeah, it's the center the flock off. That's it. Go, 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 go. Center the flock on. Straight away. Go, 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 go. 
You must be one with the car. You gotta feel it in your heart. Oh no, don't break. No brakes in sand. The sand stops the car. Just try right. the middle. Oh shit, my drone is gone. Where's the drone? I saw it when we were passing by. Yeah. Will there be good shots? All working. All working. Great. I don't do what I do for any other reason, but to feel happy and feel content with my life. But I've got a responsibility that goes with that, and that responsibility is towards the people that give you the freedom to do what you do. So to be able to take that freedom means that you have to respect one thing, you have to come back alive. I don't leave home because I don't like being at home. I come back home because I love my family. did my first 30 kilometers of off-roading in uh, Australian Outback and I've had Mike Horn as an instructor and Jesse as my co-pilot and uh, when you have Mike Horn saying good job good job you didn't fuck up this time <laughs> it's pretty good he's in dingo, dingo? yeah da. I'm uh, going off to find some firewood all along there's these very convenient kind of pre-cut slash burnt bushels everywhere. They're perfect for starting a fire. Ugh. Camp is about two to 300 meters away. Lorenzo, what up? I've, I'm going out finding uh, stuff for our uh, our camp. Is this I, the same thing you had? No, it, it's there, a new it, one. It literally you know seems what, like you, you're just you... running around with that. <laughs> and, like, telling everyone, oh, I'm, I'm getting wood. <laughs> These guys are awesome. These guys also have millions of followers because they curse at people while playing video games. <laughs> what a time to be living in, right? Once I took my glove to attach my shoelace, in less than it takes the time to attach your shoelace, I lost three fingertips. Frozen. Finished. Done. It took me 25 years to get the knowledge to add 50 years to cross Antarctica. But I wanted to do it already when I was 20 years old. So you had that goal the whole time? Yeah. I wanted to do it like the old explorers did of hundreds of years ago that built their boats that sailed down there and nobody knew where they were. The day I reached the ocean I crossed in 56 days 22 hours and I said this is my my moment. Okay, I'll make the eggs and the bacon and everything. <laughs> I still can't believe I have an espresso machine in the middle of the Simpson Desert. And thanks to this extraordinary man. Woohoo! <laughs> Who just prepared poached eggs, by the way. And so I'm just having my espresso du jour. Bruschetta and... It's 9.30 in the morning and uh, the Germans, hello Germans, hello, <laughs> we're leaving now for Alice Springs, Spring Springs, uh, it's pretty 
desolate, but then you get to this lake, which is fucking amazing. <laughs> I have to That's how he dances. Those <laughs> he has, doesn't know <laughs> no rhythm at all. <laughs> The only advice I can give to people is that don't be afraid of making your first step. And that first step is, in fact, the easiest step of the whole journey. Once you've been out there once, then you will want to go out there again. That adventure, it becomes food. What's That's why I, ex I keep on exploring. It's food for me. It's what makes me happy. We came from Brisbane to Charlesville to Birdsville, jumped in the cars and literally crossed the Simpson Desert to Mount Bear and from here to Alice Spring and then all the way back to Sydney. Not easy to do in three days. Run away! Run away! <laughs> <laughs> Until we meet again. We'll meet again.